Hi guys, I'm coming at you with another one this afternoon. This is another pretty cool blade. I know you guys have probably seen this one before and also seen Backyard Knife Dude. <laughs> and that is, this is not funny at all, but when he received his, man, it was broke right at the tang. I mean, the blade was in two freaking pieces. I could not believe that. I, that just blew me away but it, it worked out good and he's got his blade now and I, I was just livid because I had recommended the blade to him and he receives it and it's split in half that completely blew me away but it's a timber wolf buoy um, I want to say they called it the 1917 buoy for some reason, but I may be mistaken. It's it's the 139, and it has uh, military nomenclature above it, U.S. It's a uh, it's a really cool buoy knife. It's uh, has the distress look all over it, except for the rise up of the grind there. Has a beautiful unfinished guard. You know, this looks like something Teddy Roosevelt may have carried up San Juan Hill or something. I really do like the feel and the look of this knife. I like when they try to go old school. It um it gives a fresh look on an old piece. I mean I would have loved for them to send like a military type sheath for it. Maybe some OD green cloth with dark green retention straps and you know something to kind of give it that cavalry look. But it's an awesome knife. It really is. It's pretty sharp. It's kind of a pecker to get that way but I finally got her there. I don't use work sharps or stones or anything. I only use ceramic rods and old school way of sharpening. And um, I strop it. And uh, <clears throat> it's there now. So beautiful wood handle, three pins. It's full tank. Really rustic look. Feels super in the hand. I would have loved a lanyard hole. Not a must. This is not a knife you're going to be carrying around. I mean, beautiful, beautiful blade. And I love that they stamped US on it. I just like that, always have. Real wicked blade, really is. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you all that today. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe. And let's not forget our vets. 22 a day take their own life in the United States. We have to change that, guys. We have to. Everybody stay safe. It's Donovan from Mississippi, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.